great to be here. Uh, I have some real fun news. Uh, a kid called me ugly the other day. I was just like in the park, having an ice cream cone, minding my own business. And then this piece of shit five-year-old <laughs> just scuttles out of nowhere, karate chops me in the shin, points up at me, and he's like, hey, you're ugly. And I wish I had said something cool in the moment, like, it's not what your mom said when I was boinking her on the futon, you know what I mean? <laughs> something real slick. But instead, <laughs> instead I panicked, and I'm like, oh, no, you're ugly. And he's like, you're a hack. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> he's right, he's right. <laughs> about to say something to him to be like, look, you cannot speak to me that way, sir. Uh, <laughs> but then his mom steps in. She's like, Daniel, you're very rude. You don't speak to strangers like that, Daniel. You're bad. You're bad, Daniel. And I'm just behind her like, yeah, you're fucking bad, Daniel. Ooh, you're bad. Mom's mad. What are you going to do about it? I'm 30. <laughs> and she looks at me so apologetically and she's like, oh, kids, they can be so honest. I couldn't even get mad because it was such a good burn, you know? I was like, the timing was right. But it stuck with me though, because you always hear things like that, like, oh, kids are honest. If they say something, it's gotta be true. So I'm like, is there something wrong with my face? Why did he call me ugly? But here's the thing. Two days later, I went to go take a picture of a dog in the park. It was a French bulldog, it was amazing. I caught out my iPhone, clicked on the camera app. And you know when sometimes like the front facing camera comes on accidentally in selfie mode? And I just caught a glimpse of myself from this angle, and I was like, ah, I'm quite ugly. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. That's the angle that kids see us at all the time. <laughs> kids are just front-facing cameras at a bad angle. Why have we not put this together before? Like, you're looking up at me being like, this bitch is ugly, but the people in the balcony are like, fucking sweet, you know what I mean? <laughs> You take a selfie from down here, you're like, I'm a thumb, right? You take a selfie from up here, like, I'm a supermodel. <laughs> so that's why I wanna go back. I wanna go back to the park and find that snot-nosed kid, right? And just pick him up and be like, what do you think of me from this angle, huh? What about now? Tell me I'm pretty. Here, put these sunglasses on. How do I look in sepia, bitch, you know? <laughs> I've had a lot of bad day jobs. I worked at Starbucks for five years. Woo! Uh, everybody who ever goes to Starbucks can die because <laughs> It's a terrible job because everybody who comes into a Starbucks is a psychopath because they haven't had their coffee yet and they want their coffee. And we had this one guy who came in who we called the pumpkin spice bandit. <laughs> he would come in every day. He wouldn't buy anything, he wouldn't buy anything. And he would just lurk by the bar, wait for us to put out a pumpkin spice latte, grab it and get out, right? And this wasn't like a homeless man or a person in need. This was like a businessman in a suit who was like, this is how I get my thrills, right? Ah. And I stopped him. I took down the Pumpkin Spice Bandit. I was working in the bar that day. It was the day that I quit, by the way. <laughs> I was working in the bar, and this guy comes in, he swipes it, just as he's swiping it, I grab his arm, I'm like, stop, sir, that's not yours. You didn't pay for it. Whole cafe goes quiet. He just looks at me and he's like, I don't give a care. <laughs> like Starbucks is really gonna crumble if I don't pay for my drinks. And here's the thing. I used to give out free shit all the time. Like, if you came into my Starbucks, I'd give you a latte. You're a nice person. But you know when you just hate someone's face? You know when someone has a dumb face? This guy had an underbite. I'm like, how does that even exist these days? How do you have an underbite? So I was just like, look, underbite, go pay for your drink. He did not like this. He's like, you know what, miss? You know what? You carry the weight of the company on your shoulders. It's like you carry the weight of the company on your shoulders. I'm like, sir. I am drunk at work right now, okay? <laughs> if anything, I carry the weight of the company in my ass from all these muffins I've been stealing, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> and now that I don't work at Starbucks, and I don't know if you feel this way about jobs you've quit in the past, every time I pass by one, I just wanna go in, cause a commotion. <laughs> just cause it's my turn to be an asshole, I just wanna walk in there real confident one day and be like, Hi, yeah, can I get a double tall, non-fat, one raw sugar breast milk latte, please? <laughs> and they're like, what? And I'm like, oh, double tall, non-fat, one raw sugar breast milk latte, it's a complicated order. <laughs> and when the poor girl's like, um, we don't have breast milk. <laughs> I just wanna get so mad. 
just so unbelievably angry, just like, what? No breast milk? No breast milk. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize we were at a fucking Tim Hortons here, no! No, I thought this was Starbucks with your lactose-free milk and your soy milk and your breast milk. What about that barista over there with the big tits, huh? There's gotta be milk in those jugs. There's got to be milk in those jugs, right? Then just hop over the counter and just start sucking on her tit and be like, eh. <laughs> And then the shift supervisor will be like, Miss, as the manager on duty, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop milking the barista. <laughs> or I'm gonna have to call the cops. And I'll be like, you know what, buddy? You carry the weight of the company on your shoulders. <laughs> you guys have been a lot of fun. I'm Julie Ladkowitz. Have a good night.